Oh my gosh, hello guys, welcome back to my channel, my name is Dylan, and today I have a very special video for you. This is one of my, I think this is my first, my first Yowie tag, oh my god! This is the Yowie Readers tag, um, and I made this tag mostly because I just want to talk about Yowie and really celebrate the genre of Yowie because it means so much to me. And I think more people should be talking about it, and I want more people to talk about it, so I'm gonna force them to. So I have eight simple questions, and we're gonna get right into it and have some fun! The first question is, how did you first get into Yaoi? What is your Yaoi story? So, when I was a young 21-year-old man, I went... Was I 21? When I was younger... <laughs> because I can't remember, I went to visit my sister, and we went to Powell's Books in Portland, and I discovered, in the distance, a section of manga that I have never seen before, because I had never seen two men holding each other with such longing. I found this manga, Only Serious About You by Asao Kai, and this is the manga that really got me into Yaoi. I found it at the bookstore, I flipped through it, I was very, very happy with what I saw. I was kind of coming out and like finding my own, or discovering my own sexuality. And so this was like the first manga I read which depicted gay people. And it was pretty damn awesome. So I went up to my mom and I asked her to buy this for me. And I also had her buy uh, Border by Kazuma Kadaka as well, which I can't find. I don't know where it is. It's in a box somewhere, maybe. Maybe it's gone. I don't know. But that one is not... That one is mature. <laughs> and she had to buy it for me, and she was cool to do so. And I remember being so embarrassed about it at first because I was still kind of discovering myself and I was reading it upstairs in my sister's house alone uh, by myself while they were all downstairs and I was I was I was getting into it <laughs> and I felt like I was doing this taboo thing when in reality I wasn't I wasn't doing anything bad I was just reading about men in love and the like the idea of that made me like I don't know when you're coming out you feel really really weird you feel very very exposed so when I was reading this I felt exposed to myself as well because I was enjoying something that I had never experienced before and it felt so surreal to me to read this manga that depicted love in such a way and it was it was honestly beautiful and it helped me discover myself so that's why this manga is so, so special to me, because it made me who I am. So, yeah. That's a little cheesy, but it's true. Question two. What do you love about Yaoi? Okay, so we're gonna get the elephant out of the room. Of course, I love the smuts. I love seeing it. I love seeing it. I love seeing the butts and the pee and the... Mm, the, 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 the act. Yes, please. But really, I, at its core, I just love seeing men find love. That's what I've loved in fiction in general, in all of the media that I consume, really. But it's really, really nice to see it in, in manga format, because seeing it on, like, a comic book page, it just feels different. I can't really explain it. Because, like, obviously when you see the movie, you know it's an actor. And when you read about it in a book... It's, it's very, very personal a lot of the times. A lot of the times it's about being queer and coming out and a lot of, like, personal things. But when you read about it, it's just, it feels, like, read about it in a manga format. Like, seeing it happen is just different. And I like that. I like that, that it's partially reality, partially, most, well, it is fiction, obviously. But, like, it's like a weird mix of, like, out there fantasy mixed with reality a little bit just a little bit because like even because you know all fiction has a little bit of reality into it whether that's just the personality of the author or what have you but i just i just love yaoi i love i love everything about it even the problems even everything with going on with that 
I just love it. It makes me happy. It brings me joy to just see two people fall in love. It makes me happy. Question number three is what yaoi surprised you in the best way? That would be my current read, which is Escape Journey. This one is written by Ogaretsu Tanaka, and I love it so, so very much. So when this came out in 2018, my friend had told me about the non-consensual part of the manga, and I didn't want to read it because of that. So I let this, like, just kind of in the back of my mind, just let it sit there for three years, and I read this because my friend Shay finally got me to read it. And I'm so thankful that she did. So, so thankful. Because it was so, so beautiful. I was so shocked. Honestly, so shocked that I love this so much. It is a really, really romantic and sweet love story between two men who had once loved before and find it again. I adore this manga. I love it so much. I love, 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 love this. You have no idea how much I love this. I... Mm. Mm-hmm. I found something. Anyway. <laughs> I honestly just love seeing these two together. It just makes me so, so happy. It just makes me so, so happy. We essentially follow Taichi and Naoto, who are two college students who had once had a relationship in high school together, and they had a falling out, they had an argument, they had something happen, a fallout, and despite that, they always had each other in the back of their minds. They always had that feeling only with this person. And I thought that was so, so beautiful and so wonderful and such a good story to read about with two gay men. I love it. It's so great. It's so, so good. I just adore it. And the art is so cute. The art is so great. I just love it so much. It is just so good. Question four. What is an under underappreciated yaoi? So I have several because of course I do. <laughs> So the first one is Man of Tango by Tetsuzo Okudaya, and this is a dancing BL about two men, both of which I believe have some Latin American or Latin descent, Latin descent, and they fall in love by becoming partners. One is a master of tango, the other one is a master of something else, I think? But anyway, they meet and form this connection and this bond together through their dance, and they grow together as lovers. And I just love this so much. And honestly, I do love this because of the art, because these men, these daddies, we love to see it. We just love to see it. We love to see the thick, the thick, thicky, thick, thickness of these men. And it fuels my soul in the best way, and I love it. It's so great. It's so amazing. You need to read it, and I think more people need to read it. It's wonderful. Another one I really love is The Depression of the Anti-Romanticist. This one is written by Ryo Yamaguchi, Yami, Yamikami, and Yasuna uh, Sagu Numa. And this one is such a really, really sweet romance between these two people. It kind of starts out a little bit like devious in a way, but ultimately it's about these two men who truly bond together and become a family, and I just love it. I think it's really, really great. I highly recommend it. Then we have Little Butterfly by our lovely Hinako Takanaga. She is a very, very popular BL mangaka, and this one is a high school romance between two boys, one of which is dealing with some very, very heavy issues at home, and their love together kind of brings the best out of each other in, like, the darkest times. And I just love that. That's one of my favorite parts. That's one of my favorite tropes. I love darkness and, and BL and just, like, familial drama and... Whew, it's it's relatable to me. And then, of course, I have to talk about Don't Call Me Dirty by Go Kanbei. This is wonderful and beautiful and amazing, and I love the... Uh, the topics of, like, dirtiness and gay culture and in homelessness and 
just the, the matching with those two just makes it so powerful and wonderful, and I just love it. It's wonderful. It's so good. So, so good. Yeah, I just love this story. I think it's so sweet and so warm and just such a beautiful love story between these two, and it's just, it's so personal, and I love how it, how much it makes me think about love. And I just, I adore it. It's wonderful, and you should all read it. It's beautiful. Question six is, who is the swooniest man in Yaoi? For me, that's no contest. I mean, well, honestly, I, I have several. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pick a couple, because I can't stop myself. So, I adore Angie. From Man of Tango, I think he is so sweet and so swoony, and he cares so much, so, so much about Hero, and just making him the best that he can be, and I think that in itself is incredibly swoony. Um, also... Speechless. <laughs> if I saw that... On my bed? Best believe? You best believe. Mm. It's going down. I'm yelling gay man. I just love it. And I also love just how this manga in itself is like so sensual and just such a... It's a good contrast with Yaoi and like... How am I trying to say that? It's like... Love is sensual, and dance is sensual, and I love that those two are mixed together in this so well. It's just lovely. I, I gotta stop talking about it. I gotta stop talking about it, otherwise you're gonna be here all day. Another one of my favorite swoony heroes in yaoi manga is obviously Camillo from Liquor and Cigarettes by Ron Maruzaria. Obviously, I have to put him on the list. He is just so such a wonderful man. He is so sweet, and he cares so, so, so much about our main character, who I don't remember the name of. Theo. <laughs> I love Camillo so much, okay, come on, give me give me some slack, I love him. When I took your shirt off, I did indulge in a little taste of nipple. You let out a little, aww, oh, too, so cute. So swoony, I can't, I can't, I don't understand why you wouldn't love this man. Also, corn. also, let's move on. Question number seven, what is your favorite trope in Yaoi? I mean, I think mine's pretty obvious, I adore adore single parent romances. I love them so, so much. And I love when someone who lost love finds love again. And it's gay. <laughs> he finds a man and he finally becomes himself and it's amazing. This is Hide and Seek by Yaya Sakuragi, one of my queens of Yaoi. I love her so, so much. And I adore this story mostly because I just love when when men find love again. I just love it. I love the second chance romances too. So this is kind of a mix between those two. Um, oh, I guess they didn't have a romance before, but he finds love again. If that makes sense, does that make sense? I just love it. Now the parenting aspect in this manga isn't really like that apparent, but it's it's a thing. It's there. <laughs> I remember it differently in the past, but once I reread it, it was a lot different. But I just, I just, I just love these two together. I just look at them. I just love them together. They're just so sweet and so nice and so kind and so lovely. Also, the suits, man. The suits, and he's a doctor, which they didn't play up the doctor aspect enough in this. They should have, honestly. They really, really should have. But. I just, I still love it. Like, I still love seeing this this doctor become a part of um, Shuji's life. I love it so much. It's so sweet. Definitely one of my favorite uh, tropes in BL. Obviously, you know I love Only Serious About You. It's kind of a, that's a better story featuring, like, a gay, like, a gay father. Or I guess a bisexual father. But anyway, it's just beautiful. I love, I love, I love a daddy. You know me, I love my daddies. 
And the last question is question eight. What yaoi brought you to tears? Because we're all emotional people at heart, I think. Well, most of us. Unless you're heartless, which that's, that's fine, I guess. Um, for me, the one that I always go back to and the one that I always, like, is still emotionally part of me and just makes me ache is Given by Natsuki Kizu. I love this. I love this so much. This one follows a young man who is kind of like a quiet, shy boy. He doesn't really talk much. Um, he's a little strange. And one day he meets this man, other well, boy, they're all they're both boys. This boy on the steps of his school and they form a relationship and make a band together, and it's all about Mafiu finding his voice and finding out who he is as a person. And it also is a really, really beautiful depiction of grief and loss and what that means to someone, and that is what really brought me to tears. I read this at a time when I really, really, really needed it, or rather I watched the anime at a time when I really needed it, and reading it again is, is very therapeutic for me. Um, because, um, the same year that this anime came out, I lost my father, and that is something that I still struggle with today, like, I still, I'm still in grieving, I'm still grieving about it, um, it's, it goes in waves, you know, but it, it also kind of taught me the beauty of life, and the beauty of appreciating those around you, and... I just love it. I love this manga so much. I think it's beautiful. I, uh, It's so personal to me, too. Like, this is my manga. This is my baby, okay? Because I just relate to it so much with the aspect of grief and loss and trauma. So, uh, I love it so much. So there you have it. That is my yaoi tag. I made this video way too long, and I'm gonna hate myself because <laughs> I have to edit this, but it's fine. <laughs> So I'm gonna tag some people. I want to tag Shay from Shay Geeks Out. Mm, I almost called her mama. Aisha from Mama Loves Manga. <laughs> and I also wanna tag Rachel from It's Rachel. Those are my three tags. Please do the tag if you would like to and please spread it around. I would love to hear more about Yaoi. I think more people need to talk about Yaoi and like appreciate BL in general because it's a really wonderful genre and or demographic, genre demographic. Is a genre. Um, and I think more people need to appreciate it. So that's why I wanted to make this tag. Let's celebrate BL. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And please remember, for the love of all that is gay, stay sexy.